Mike with her motorcycle. I've been here with Jogo Motorcycle Adventures. He was kind enough to organize this wonderful morning meetup. We've got Jogo Motorcycle Adventures right here. We even got our very own Jogo. Take a look at this. You know you're in Ohio when on the ground, a Buckeye. That's a real Buckeye. Look at that. Or a Bucknut. <laughs> you don't see that in Michigan. Right, so we got like a thousand cones. <laughs> like a million cones happening. And let's not forget why I'm here. Mr. Joe himself and I are having a wonderful time on YouTube. Challenging our efforts to see who can ride tighter. It's, it's Joe, it's honestly. Um, so having seen the challenge, I am here to learn because somehow he can get his larger motorcycle into much tighter spaces than I can get my smaller motorcycle. So there's something he knows and something he does that I don't. I want to find out a little bit more about what that is. Give me a nice smooth stop, he says. You want any front? No front. No, no front, yeah. Not touching the front. Just brake. a nice smooth stop. Yes. In that friction yep. zone. This is an emergency brake. Right. <laughs> All right, start off a little slower. When you come okay. to the stop, you see your front end bounce. You want a little more slow race action? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. It's so interesting to, to see somebody else's take. You know, they're, they've got a lot of training and, and they've different experiences with different schools and teachers. And then they watch you and they're, they're pointing out different stuff. Every, every person that you can learn from is going to give you a little bit different, uh, a little bit different flavor. And it's not necessarily you're doing something wrong, but you're just forced to do something a little bit different. And you're always going to benefit from that. So, so glad to be here. This is cool. So Joe was saying this is the first gold wing in this class, which is pretty cool. It's important as an instructor. It's interesting. All the bikes handle different. All of them work different. Even though they have the same fundamental principles, uh, they feel different. And they have different limitations. So the learning has begun already. All right, let's do a little rear brake here. Go as slow as I'm walking. Okay. have a new competitor. What's that? I might have a new competitor here. <laughs> All right, here we go. No lean? Oh, wow. No lean. No lean? No lean. <laughs> it's doable right there. Whoa. Not leaning. That's just like yep. opposite day. See, see what's happening? You're not in the friction zone when you're trying to take off. Yeah. So get that throttle set. Okay. Get that friction zone. Okay. And just let it do its thing. Okay. Go through it. All right. Consistent throttle is important. There goes the old gold wing. That's all right. You didn't have enough throttle? Yep, my biggest problem is yep. throttle. And you saw the friction go. You able just, to get this up? Yeah, okay, you can go for it. Just needed a nap. It's just tired. On me, yeah. Counterweight him. There we go. That was that was very gentle. Yes. No harm, no foul. Oh. There you go. Oh. Oh, we're getting better. Joe's going to demonstrate the the serpentine. He's saying he wants us to get like six or seven feet away from the cones at the extremes out there 
So it gives us a much bigger, deeper. There you go, yep. And he's he is. He's out there. That was five feet. Yeah, that's way out. That's nice. Alright, let's see how this feels with this spacing. Not too often you practice when you look up the whole time. Good throttle. Good throttle. Yeah. Good job, Midnight. I have faith in you. Midnight takes care of me. You turn time. Oh boy. It's okay. It's just okay. Took another little nap. He did turn his head perfectly. Give him that. Why are you looking down anyway? Look up. Look up. So much easier. Nice. You gotta hold your head up like it's its job. It's crazy. You wanna look at the cones and the stripes and the pavement. Don't do that. If you look at the pavement, you go on the pavement. It's a very simple rule. I get arm stiffness, honestly. That's part of it, too. If you stiffen up your arms, the bars won't, won't float like they need to. Ay, ay, ay. You're out of here. Oh, no. It just ejected him right out of there. <laughs> no harm to the bike. It's got those nice big bars on there. There you go. Entrance. Corner. Okay. There you go. that quick <laughs> just pushing my limits like that, 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 yeah. that, that, and that was over my limit but you notice when I told you to turn quicker yeah you got a lot you, you it, stayed in the area a lot better How you start this? yep, ah. yep. It'll be interesting to see what he thinks so far it looks pretty pretty make it look easy right Yep. There you go. So it's all in the technique. 
Joe, thank you so much for hosting this for us. No problem, yeah. man. I appreciate you coming all the way from Michigan. Yeah. I mean, and yeah. great to finally meet you in person. Yeah. We got our we, little video uh, battle yeah. going. Right, yeah. <laughs> we got a little small session together. I couldn't fit everything in here, but we had enough just to, uh, you know, sharpen our skills a little bit. And again, oh, thank I you. appreciate it. You got here, you got Sean here. Say hi, Sean, with the gold wing. So. Yeah. Thanks, man. I hope to see you again. And if you guys want to join one of these, it's probably the last one for the year. But yeah, next year, go to my website, jogomorecycleadventures.com. Yep. I learned a lot, and I got some things to take home. Good. We got to keep our head and eyes up. Yep. We got to lean a little more. Keep trying. Yes, sir. Okay, guys. <laughs>